Challenge Tour made a final in the last Challenge Tour weekend. 43. Oh, he should have just been playing on the ball. He's been scoring 50 with one dart the past few visits, and he's only come away with 43 with three darts there. No such problem for Clemens. Forty-seven. Clemens in that sixty again. Look at this. This lad can play, and you can see he's got those very thin points. So it kind of gives the impression of it being a sort of cartoon dart that he throws in. Is Atkins? One hundred and forty. It's a ten forty of his own. So it'll stick in the board, and then doing. Three one forties all hit exactly the same way for Clement. Sixty sixty, and then just a little bit low, perhaps catching a bit of the barrels of the previous two darts. Ninety. But this is an absolutely fantastic opening leg from Clemens. Should look at treble ten. Now double sixteen. Game shot. That is magnificent. 12 dart opening salvo from Gabriel Clemens. He may have lost the ball, but it doesn't matter. Wins the opening leg. Known as Gargar. That's actually because his brother, when he was little, couldn't say his 84. name. So he just called him Gargar, and that kind of stuck. Probably needs a bit of work, the nickname. 45. I think the locksmith works. That is his job. Oh, my word. And he's really unlocked his potential over the last few months playing on the PDC circuit. His scoring visits in this match have been 140, 140, 140, 84, 180. That is a spectacular bounce out for Martin Atkins. 25. One hundred and forty. He has had six scoring visits in this game, Clemens. Only one of them has been worth less than a hundred and forty. One hundred. This is spectacular from the big man. Fifty seven. Well, that's good enough to leave himself on tops. Eighty-six. Winner of this one will face Michael Smith in the board final, a third round stage. Game and shot. right now, there is only one person who's going to win this game going on the first two legs. Because Gabriel Clemens is playing on a completely different level. He's averaging 120 to Martin Atkins, 72. Nearly 50 points in the averages. Gabriel Clemens will be averaging more if he only threw two darts per visit, as things stand. Lisa knows the score. I know we've waited months and months 61. for some decent weather, but fans of darts have waited years and years for top German darts players to threaten to win things. Now we've got two of them, and Martin Schindler as well, who's not won anything yet, but I'll tell you what, he's playing 56. fantastically. I know he's gone out in f the first round today, but he averaged 98 against Peter Wright and pushed the top seed. Peter Wright, we will show you his board final. In the next game on this streaming 135. board, 135. We are waiting to find out who Peter Wright faces. In fact, do we have confirmation of that? Yes, we do. Paul Nicholson 94. has beaten Christo Reyes. My word, Nicholson is just. The last few weeks, there have been suggestions that Nicholson was getting back to playing well. He had a run to the final day 59. on the European Tour. But this weekend, he has been superb. Qualified for both Euro Tours. Went deep into yesterday's tournament, averaging 100. Until he ran into, well, this man. 82. Gabriel Clement.
96. Well, it's a chance for Martin Atkins, and he has not had any chances so far in this game. Treble 20 leaves the ball. Bullseye. 104. Gone at the 19s. Another one there. Oh, would have left double 18. And he's just gone into the treble 9 instead of the treble 14. That's not the end of the world, though. Double 8. Atkins to get on the board needs double four. Game shot. Oof, such a pressure dart for Martin Atkins, and he pins it. See a little bit of relief on his face when that one found the target. 96. One hundred. Atkins was only beaten in the final of that Challenge Tour event the other weekend by Michael Barnard, who has been playing absolutely spellbinding stuff on the Challenge Tour. But by that point, he'd seen off Dennis Nielsen, who's been playing well. Ted Everts, who's been playing some good stuff as well. The Challenge Tour 140. Is, it seems to get better and better every year. And now we've got the Dark Connect system. You can see the sort of numbers that people are throwing. 84. Now Wayne Jones came back up from the Challenge Tour this year and he started winning games and picking up victories, playing well again. Obviously Rob Cross played Challenge Tour, 100. got his tour card and then won the World Championship. Ryan Searle stepped up from the Challenge Tour and went on runs very, very quickly in Senior Tour as Clemens looks to fill this up. 140. Leaves himself 1, 2, 3, but Atkins is looking more competitive now. He's in with a shout. Trouble 17. Would have been in with a shout for this leg in this visit. 137. But even so, he's applied the pressure. 19's to start. 16's now. Bullseye now. And Clemens pins it for 3-1. 39. average for Gabriel Clemens. semi-finalist at the World Masters. He had a quarter-final on the tour and started throwing some big numbers, you know, 98, 99, 100 averages. When we're looking at the Dark Connect system thinking, well, look, if he continues to do this, then he's going to be in with a chance. Then he made a semi-final. And it looked like, yes, he is realising his potential. He's getting the rewards for the good darts he's 128. been throwing. Then he made the final yesterday. He could well have won it. And if he plays like this, he could well win today. 57. 58. That is not a typo. That is Gabriel Clemens' average. 140. And it could well go up. 41. Atkins in trouble here. Clemens probably starts on the 20s because he may not need to use the bulls. Okay, trouble 20 and bull then. Oh, fantastic. 128. Fantastic work. 36 left after 12 darts, and it could be a breaker throw here. 77. And Clemens is going to take some stopping today because he just seems to be Game on shot. it. 13 darter. I know that it's going to be Max Hopp and Martin Schindler representing Germany at the World Cup of darts, and they have earned their places there. They're playing fantastic stuff, and they, I think they're going to be very, very dangerous. I think they could actually, with 20,000 German 59. fans in Gelsenkirchen as well, playing their part, they are genuine contenders to win it. I don't think that's hyperbole to say that. 
Max Hopper has shown he can win things, and Martin Schindler is hitting a lot of big scores and a lot of high 90s, round the 100 average. He can play world-class stuff, Martin Schindler. If they both click, they are dangerous. But Germany now has another player. 96. In PDC darts, who can really mix it with the big boys? Gabriel Clemens, still averaging well, well over 100 here. 41 140 needed to fill it up to get to a finish Martin Atkins 100 but Clemens he was under well 80 points behind after the first visit in this leg. But it's just turned it around. 60. A little glimmer. Light at the end of the tunnel for Martin Atkins. Oh, that's frustrating. He wants to stay in the 20s. He has to stay there, really. But Well, decides not to. 56. Well, he has left to finish, so you've got to be credited with that. Oh, my. Clemens for a 146. Oh, Game it shot. is magnificent from Gabriel Clemens. Superb stuff. The average steadfastly remaining at 107. That means winning every leg in 100. 14 darts. That's the equivalent for 107 average. If you're going to throw 14 darters all day, you're going to win tournaments. 96. Michael Smith was pretty impressive against Willie O'Connor. He averaged 60. 97. Gabriel Clemens. Well, blown him out of the water. 43. One hundred and twenty one. Fifty seven. Seventy seven. More second round winners. Dawson Merchel has beaten Gerwin Price. Big win that. John Henderson has seen off Ryan Joyce. Ian White last leg decided a win against Robert Owen. Christian Kist has beaten Ryan Meikle. The Rock Peter Hudson has won. Atkins isn't going to take out the 1 4 3. 87. Chizzy out. Norris out. Benito Vanderpass out. All of these results on the PDC website and on 100. Dark Connect. Martin Atkins, is he going to go out? If he doesn't take out the 56, he may well do. Double top the target. Double 10. Game shot. Double 10 is hit. Martin Atkins clinging on in this one. But surely it is just a matter of time before Clemens... Seals the deal. 81. 81. Keegan Brown doing for Benito Vanderpass. Ricky Evans beating Dave Chisnell. 59. Chris Quantock getting the win against Alan Norris. Stephen Bunting continuing his good form. A 6-4 win against Alan Tabern in an all St. Helens clash. Both men averaging 97 as Clemens piles in 180 number two. Looks like Steve Lennon, finalist at the recent 60. Dutch Darts Masters, may be edging through to the board final. He's 5-4 up on Matty Edgar. Danny Nopper, 5-2 up on Jose Justicia. And Mickey Mansell is only two legs away, so he is, from the board final. Against Jelle Klaassen, 4-2 up, the Northern Irishman. Clemens on for an 11-darter to seal things. 
Atkins must know the game is up. 100. There. He looks like it. Trouble 20 for double top. To finish in style. 80. Well, two match darts missed by Gabriel Clemens, but he is going to get more. And the average, if he sees it off in this visit, the average will be 81. over a ton. It is not quite as stratospheric as I thought it might be at the start of this game. But game it is shot still very, very impressive. Yesterday's runner-up, Gabriel Clemens, is on the charge this weekend. The German, 105 average, a 6-2 win. And Clemens will take on Michael Smith in the board final. That has got to be one of the picks of the third-round action here at Arena MK.